Water Pollution for Kids Have you ever thought about the water you drink and whether or not it's clean? Do you know what the word pollution means or how it happens? Well, you're in luck because today we are going to talk all about water pollution, where it comes from, and how you can help prevent it. Let's start with an example of what water pollution is. Imagine you're really thirsty and someone hands you two jars of water. In the first jar, you have water poured straight out of a sealed water bottle. In the second jar, you have water collected from the rain gutter outside. This jar is filled with plastic, dirt, and other garbage. Which one would you drink? I bet you picked the first jar, right? Because the water in the second is definitely dirty and polluted. Water pollution is becoming a huge problem, which is why it's important to prevent it whenever we can. So strap into your water rafts because here we go. What is water pollution? To put it simply, water pollution is dirty, unsafe water. Sometimes water is polluted by large pieces of trash we can see. Other times it's contaminated by invisible chemicals unseen by the naked eye. Polluted water cannot be used for drinking because it contains chemicals or other germs that can make you sick. Water pollution happens when different particles, chemicals, and other substances cause the water to become dirty. Pollution can be caused through natural processes, like the eruption of a volcano or silt from storms and floods. But, Unfortunately, most water pollution is caused by humans. Sewage, fertilizers from farms, chemicals, and litter are just a few man-made causes of water pollution. At times, pollution flows directly into bodies of water from places like factories. Other times, it happens when rainwater mixes with unsafe chemicals. This dirty rainwater eventually makes its way into oceans, rivers, lakes, or streams, either entering the water directly or after seeping into the ground. And even though we can't drink salt water from the ocean, water pollution causes many problems for the aquatic life living there and has major negative effects on the environment. Sometimes pollution is visible in the water, like when there's an oil spill or floating patches of garbage but other times it can look just as clean as water that's safe to drink. So how do you tell the difference? Always remember to consider the source. Are you getting your water from home or school? Great, you can trust that this water is safe to use. What about water from a lake, river, or stream? It might look clean, but it should be purified or boiled before you drink it. Always ask an adult you trust if you're unsure what's safe. They're there to help. And remember, even though you may have access to safe drinking water, there are millions of people in the world who don't. It's important that everyone in the world has safe drinking water too. That's where you come in. You can help prevent water pollution in small and simple ways every day. Here are some facts to share with your friends and family members to help encourage them to conserve and keep our water clean. Nearly 17 billion pounds of plastic is dumped into the ocean each year. That's more plastic in our oceans than fish. Even though nearly 70% of Earth's surface is covered by water, most of it is the ocean. Only 2.5% of the water is fresh, and even less is accessible for us to drink. Over 1 billion people on our planet do not have access to clean water water sources. Ways to prevent water pollution. Although it might not be possible for you to prevent all types of water pollution, there are lots of ways that you can help keep water clean where you live. Here are a few ideas. Reduce. Fresh, clean water is a precious resource, so try not to waste it. Conserve it instead. Take shorter showers, Ask your parents to water the lawn less. Don't leave the faucet running when you're brushing your teeth. Recycle. Clean up your trash and make sure it makes its way safely into a garbage can or a recycling bin. 
Reuse. Use less plastics. Use reusable straws instead of plastic ones. And bring your own bags to pick up your groceries. Don't put paints, oils, medicines, or chemicals down sink drains or toilets. Plant more trees and flowers. And now, a few questions to test your new water knowledge. What is water pollution? Dirty, unsafe water. Who or what creates the most water pollution? We do. Most pollution is man-made. True or false? Water in lakes is safe to drink. False. Lake water needs to be purified or boiled to make it safe. What are ways we can help prevent water pollution? Don't waste water. Conserve it. Don't litter. Don't dispose of hazardous materials down the drain and plant more trees and flowers. Great job, water wizards! You're well on your way to helping our planet stay clean. Remember, knowledge is power. You can remind others that over 1 billion people in the world don't have access to clean water sources. You can also share that we as humans can help prevent water pollution with some of the ideas we just mentioned. An easy one to start with is the three R's. Reduce your usage of water, reuse bags and other items when you can, and recycle any items that you are able to. So let's all work together to ensure our water is cleaner tomorrow than it was today. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.